from the Maricopa Community College campuses to you. This is Maricopa Now. Here are some of the stories you'll see. Keeping kids safe around water. Mesa Community College teams up to teach the ABCs of water safety. It's the best of the best. Theater, art, dance, and music. Students take center stage at the Artists of Promise. From food, festivities, to fun, find out how Estrella Mountain Community College mixes it up with some of culinary's finest. And there's so much more on this edition of Maricopa Now. Now, here's your host, Kim Getz. Welcome to our show. Thank you for joining us at South Mountain Community College. Maricopa Community Colleges is teaming up with the local communities to inform the public about water safety. Mesa Community College recently held a water safety day. For some, water safety issues hit very close to home. Lisa Aquafreda has the story. Joanne Letter lost her three-year-old son when he drowned in the family pool. It's been, you know, 15 years and it still makes me just sick to my stomach. And it's, you know, it's been this long, so it never, ever goes away. When I talk to people about uh, how many grandchildren I have, I always say I have three because Weston is my grandchild. He is just the grandchild that's not living. Each of these silhouettes represents 88 water-related incidents involving a child in 2013. The silhouettes with shoes represent the 10 children that died in Maricopa County last year. So far this year, there have been five drownings in the state. With the start of the busy pool season, many communities are pressing to get the word out. We know that drownings are preventable and we just need to be aware. Is your mommy or your daddy or your big person your adult? Yeah. Oh, very good. Events like Water Safety Day at Mesa Community College Who didn't get a sticker? helps get that word out. This can happen to any family and just need to be aware that tragedy happens. Everybody's got a hat. Valley firefighters, along with hundreds of first graders, joined in singing the ABCs of water safety. You'll be safe if you learn these rules. Yay! <laughs> Imagine a diamond, but that diamond is water and it's your pool. A gate left open is one way to get inside. That's how bad a toddler wants to get in the pool. Community officials want everyone to know what the ABCs of water safety include. A is for adult supervision. Designate a pool watcher when children are in and around water. If they're not a strong swimmer, hold their hand or go with them inside the pool. B is for barriers. Install fencing with a securable gate. Make sure the gate latch is high enough away from any child's reach. C is for classes. Learn about pool and water safety. Teach children early. Events like the one here at MCC are always helpful. I learned to be safe around water. Don't leave objects out that your child could climb on to get into the pool. Fence the yard area near a doggy door. Remove toys after pool time. Seems like common sense, but a swimming pool tragedy can happen in a split second. The consequences can last a lifetime. From Maricopa Now, I'm Lisa Aquafreda. For our fitness resolution series, we turn our attention from the physical education classes to the classroom. The nutrition and exercise science classes offered give students a full understanding of what is needed for a well-rounded workout. Mike Caratanudo has more. True plyometrics is done to increase power. The science of working out is as important as the physical act itself. Exercise science professor Craig Nolan knows the importance of teaching both in his class. We actually go in the weight room and instruct the student on how to do the lift correctly or how to do the movement correctly. So I, the, I think that the classes are extremely valuable in terms of understanding why you're doing something and then also how it's done in the weight room. These classes are designed to emphasize the up-to-date research in the fitness field. 
we actually enjoy that aspect of it because we read the research, we know the latest trends, and we pass those on to our students. Training professionals emphasize the importance of nutrition. They also say it can be the most difficult aspect of your workout goal. The diet is extremely important. So in my opinion, I see people having a more difficult time changing their dietary habits than their, than their exercise habits. And then they have a misconception that if they go into the gym and work out for an hour or 45 minutes, that all of a sudden fat's just gonna start dropping off and it just doesn't work that way. I think if there's a- Nolan says that today's nutrition habits should include the basics many of us learned as kids. We should eat more fruits and vegetables. Meat, eat uh, less red meat, eat less, uh, you know, of the fatty meats, eat some of the leaner uh, meats such as fish. Nolan also says that motivation, desire, and knowledge are key to changing your diet. I've looked at recent studies that show sugar addiction on the on uh, being comparable to addiction to drugs such as nicotine and uh, cocaine. These pleasure centers light up in the brain and people are that addicted that they have a hard time getting off those types of foods. Obtaining the information in the nutrition and exercise science classes and applying them to your workout will lead to fitness success. I try to, you know, uh, talk about the importance of doing it the right way. Uh, you know, setting long-term goals in accordance with short-term goals. Don't. The, the quickest way is usually the wrong way. Again, there are many great options available throughout Maricopa to achieve your fitness goals. Log on to maricopa.edu and see what's available on the campuses. Reporting for Maricopa Now, I'm Mike Caratanudo. Coming up on Maricopa Now, creativity flows at Scottsdale's Culinary Festival. Stay with us. Get into the game with Inside Maricopa Sports. From the gridiron to track and field, the ninth inning to the winning goal, Inside Maricopa Sports brings you the excitement of Maricopa College's sports. Get up close and personal with athletes and coaches. Plus, meet the unsung heroes of the game. Join us on the field and behind the scenes on Inside Maricopa Sports, only on MCTV, Cox Cable, Channel 115. You always made sure I brushed my teeth. You told me that smart was cool. You always told me to dream big. To all of those parents who took the time to make raising their children their most important job, we'd like to say thank you. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, thanks mom and dad. This message is brought to you by the U.S. Air Force. NFC, AFC, offensive linemen, defensive tackles, quarterbacks, and cornerbacks are all living united to ensure the academic success of millions of kids in our communities all the way to graduation day. But that won't happen without you. So take the pledge at unitedway.org. Make a difference in the life of a child. Suit up like your favorite NFL players and become a volunteer reader, tutor, or mentor with United Way. I teach because I really enjoy working with people. I enjoy the experience that you have with a, a student when you open their eyes to a new topic, when you communicate it in a new way. It's very active, it's very engaging, it's very inspiring, critical thinking for, um, for myself as well as for the people that I'm with. Um, I'm a geologist, so we get to go outside, we get to look at things. I get to teach people to look at the world around them through the lens of a scientist, which is amazing and different um, and changes people's lives. And you see that in a very short amount of time, and it's a very exciting thing. I also love teaching because I love being surrounded by people who are impassioned about the same types of things that I am. And Folk in Tu Futuro connects you with the diverse people and events that make up the Maricopa Community Colleges. Share in the success of our students. Celebrate the people who make a difference. And Folk in Tu Futuro is about the people, places, and events that have an impact on the Maricopa Colleges. Tune into and Folk in Tu Futuro only on MCTV Cox Cable 115. For times, visit our website at maricopa.edu slash mctv. Everybody has a dream. My 
Karen wants to see the ocean. And with a little help, I made it. Every year, millions of young women try to change the skin they were born with and say they die for darker skin. Sadly, some actually do. Change your thinking, not your skin. Stop tanning. Learn more at spotskincancer.org. Well, one that teaches uh, teaches a class in a practical way. Um, I don't, I'm, I'm paying for these classes, so I want to grasp and uh, obtain something that I can take further on in life. Uh, so. Also, I would like for an instructor to allow me to be who I am in, in a classroom. Um, I mean, obviously not, you know, I'm not a crazy wild guy or anything, but I, uh, you know, I'd like to allow to have my opinion heard and get an answer or response from it in a, in a reasonable, respectful fashion. Studies have documented the value of diversity in the field of education and how it can make a difference in the success of a student. At Mesa Community College, they're encouraging their future teachers to embrace diversity. Jesus Hernandez has this story. For the last 17 years, Professor Nora Amavesca Reyes has helped advance the quality of education and the importance of diversity at Mesa Community College. She believes education is like a mirror of our society. The statistics have forced the institution to, uh, to do more outreach and to try to, to reach out to, that, to those demographics that are not reflected as much as they should be on our, at our institution. While at Mesa Community College, Professor Reyes has noticed positive changes in the cultural landscape at the college. Students, she says, represent different lifestyles, traditions, and cultural perspectives. There's a, a greater understanding as a whole of the diversity of our world. Uh, there's more of a global um, global understanding, well, maybe more of a, a global, global awareness, I should say. And I think a lot of that has to do with the technological advances we've, we've gotten, like um, being able to Skype with somebody halfway across the world. Professor Reyes believes the summer study program at Mesa Community College is one way students learn about diversity. For years now, students who are studying to become teachers have enjoyed a cultural enrichment program in Guanajuato, in Jalapa, Mexico. Our study abroad programs make an incredible difference in our, in our participants' lives. They inevitably come back saying how they, the, the experience has changed their lives. Skin color, that's one of the most obvious um, aspects of diversity. Professor Nuna Reyes is encouraged by the interest she sees among those who want to teach and learn about diversity. For her, it represents an important step in creating learning environments that respect diversity and nurture a child's positive cultural image. For Maricopa Now, this is Jesus Hernandez. According to the United States Department of Labor, one of the fastest growing occupations is registered nurses. Our reporter Nadia Petrick visited the nursing program at Scottsdale Community College to find out how future nurses are training for their careers. We better use the Ambu bag. Let's go ahead and get some O2 on her, guys. I don't think she's breathing really well. Today, a nursing career is highly desired by many young people across the nation. It doesn't fluctuate much. You know, no matter where the economy goes, it's, it's pretty consistent. Everyone gets sick or gets hurt and everyone needs help. It pays well and, you know, great hours. You're, you're able to have a family life and also, you know, have a good career with that. The Department of Labor says that by 2022, nursing jobs will have grown by 20% from what's available now. The workforce is getting older. Um, a lot of projections uh, indicate that there will be a nursing shortage, um, especially in the rural areas. Um, health care reform uh, definitely has changed the dynamic and the face of what health care really looks like. 
Around 700 students a year get their nursing degree from Scottsdale Community College. With a new health sciences building equipped with mannequins <coughs> and a high-tech control room, the program has become cutting edge. Hands-on experience is extremely important for the students of the nursing programs. And with this kind of equipment, I'm sure they're prepped for success. In the simulation lab, mannequins are important teaching tools. They can breathe, have pulses, suffer from seizures and even give birth. The simulation lab is amazing. I always brag about it. I'm a person that learns from doing something once or twice or watching someone do it correctly a couple of times and being in that environment rather than just reading step by step what I need to do. Here, students get to experience a simulated hospital environment. It's kind of nerve-wracking that first time to go in and talk to a patient just to say hi because you don't want to do anything wrong. So it takes a lot of that first-time anxiety away when you're able to practice here and then get feedback on how you did. When you walk into a room, you look at everything right away, do a quick scan and make sure there are no immediate threats or danger to the patient. And just getting used to doing that all the time in a low-pressure environment where it's safe to make mistakes and learn was very helpful. The nursing faculty at Scottsdale Community College does everything possible to get their students academically and mentally prepared to meet the many challenges they will face. We deliberately train the nursing students to be able to take care of patients. We put mistakes into the environment and we try to build their situation awareness so they can anticipate these problems, they can trap errors, and they can keep the patients safe. Are you feeling better, Joni? Currently, the Scottsdale Community College nursing program has a year and a half waiting list to get in. But school officials say that students are willing to wait and are ready to learn once they are accepted. A lot of our students that come uh, want to be a nurse. They have a passion to help people and that respect is very rewarding. So being able to satisfy a passion and also be economically feasible is a wonderful mix. We're getting students that actually want to be here. We're getting students that actually have a passion for it. And that's the key, really, to success in any field. This is Nadia Patrick reporting for Maricopa Now. If you drive buzzed, it could cost you around $10,000. You'll face major legal fees, major fines, and steep insurance penalties. You could lose everything. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. From Glendale Community College, Deanne Kincaid brings us the story of the Guitar Ensemble Showcase. In this age of electric guitars, the pure sound of an acoustic guitar may seem old-fashioned. Let's take a listen to the award-winning GCC Student Guitar Octet. You are listening to the award-winning Student Guitar Octet at Glendale Community College under the direction of Chuck Houlihan. And the award that they recently received was the Guitar Foundation of America's Ensemble Showcase Competition. Although the octet won first place, they didn't even know they were entered. Houlihan submitted their concert recordings without telling them, so he wouldn't jinx it. This is the first concert in the newly renovated Performing Arts Center at GCC. The audience now enjoys the improved acoustic shell, which is the curved wall behind the performers that reflects the sound into the auditorium. So we all started with an electric guitar rock and roll background, all of us did, and we all switched over. I used to play off my right leg, and I have to play off my left leg now, and I switched from playing with the pick to playing finger style. This acoustic concert involves nothing more than the player's hand on the nylon strings. According to Sanchez, rock and rollers may be put off when they hear the word classical paired with guitar. It's just old music. It sounds boring. Sanchez defends the pure acoustic music. It's like nothing anyone has ever heard before. Yeah, the guitar itself is almost this cultural icon. Um, whether it's pop, rock, classical, or jazz, the guitar really has a home in all of those musical styles. Guitar can be played in an ensemble. 
and it produces an amazing sound because each instrument itself is its own ensemble. I started playing guitar uh, when I was 14 years old, but I would play mostly uh, electric, like rock and roll. Mamedi enrolled two years ago in the classical guitar course and says that he has learned how music works and how to play with other musicians. I'm actually in three ensembles. I'm in the octet, the quartet, and uh, an ensemble with 16. This course prepares students for a number of career options. The next step for most of the guitarists here in the community college program is to transfer to a four-year degree uh, granting institution. The majority of our students over the years have gone either to ASU or U of A. The proud moment really for me at, at GCC is when I look down at U of A or if I look at ASU and realize that a good majority of their program has come through GCC. I don't know whether I want to be a composer or a performer or even a classical guitar teacher or in a rock band. I just, I basically, I just want to make money playing my guitar. Although Joshua Mayo started playing country music, he now has a deep appreciation for classical as he describes one of tonight's selections. It starts out really nice and mellow with some harmonics and then it slowly swells like a parade is coming towards you. And then just as quickly as it came, it slowly dies back down and kind of dissipates like a, like a float went right on past you. Mayo admits that it's hard for him to express his passion for music. It's an interesting mix of, uh, of excitement and, and calmness and it's just an overwhelming feeling of joy. When I hear them making beautiful music, it really just absolutely tugs at my heart. Uh, and sometimes I've been known to get a little choked up. This is Deanne Kincaid reporting for Maricopa Now. The Maricopa Community Colleges sponsors an annual competition in creative writing, dance, music, visual arts, and theater. Andrea Zakszewski takes us to the event. Students from the Maricopa Community Colleges are being recognized as the best of the best. This Oscars-like event, called Artists of Promise, is an annual event which showcases the first place winners in creative writing, dance, choreography, music, visual art, and theater. The competitions in visual art and creative writing are sponsored nationally by the League for Innovation, and winners are automatically entered into these national events. Maricopa is very proud of the level of talent of its students. We have a number of our students who have talents that they like to show off and we like to show them off to our community. The evening started with an art exhibit displayed in the historical Orpheum Theater. The event provides the artists recognition for their hard work. Sandra Wyman took first place in sculpture and describes the meaning behind her piece. It's a tree root from uh, a Palo Verde and um, this on the top of the head, and then the, the entire piece is made of ceramics, and then the, the impression of the lace was, was uh, crocheted by my, by my great-grandmother. Ellen Nemetz took first place in painting and describes her inspiration. That we all wear masks, and part of the masks that we wear are age. And so this is actually my mother, and it is my mother at 22, my mother in her 70s, and my mother at seven years old. Kincaid Rab is the first prize winner in music composition. For this competition, I composed a piece called Scenes from the Big Top, uh, and this piece uh, is for reed quintet, that is to say oboe, bassoon, clarinet, bass clarinet, and alto saxophone. Uh, it was commissioned uh, by Joey Klusener of the Paradise Winds, um, which is a group uh, here in Phoenix. Um, and uh, it's based off of the early American circus music uh, from, the, early, from uh, the earlier part of the 20th century. Kincaid is motivated to take his career further. With the money that I won from this competition, I am going to record um, some of my other compositions professionally in a studio. Um, and I'm also going to pay for uh, the co completion of a website. The first place winners in the performing arts performed on stage in the categories of theater, dance, guitar, piano, and jazz. The best of the best are furthering their career, and the artists of promise gives them validation of all their hard work 
For Maricopa Now, I'm Andrea Zakszewski. Last year, Marissa Petty of Phoenix College took a bite out of the competition, winning the Take the Cake competition at the Scottsdale Culinary Festival. This year, the torch has been passed on to another Maricopa student. Entertainment reporter Lisa Aquafreda takes us to see the action on Lisa's Features. Dining at its best, the 2014 Scottsdale Culinary Festival. Sure, you can get a burger, but enjoy hot off the grill, barbecue chicken, corn on the cob, tortilla tacos to refreshing drinks. And for dessert, cupcakes or tarts. Definitely a treat to make any food lover hungry and craving more. The festival draws more than 40,000 people, and this year, Estrella Mountain Community College is mixing it up with some of culinary's finest. For them, it's the icing on the cake. The Scottsdale Resort and Conference Center. One of the premier events is underway. The challenge was the Take the Cake competition. We've got four blank canvases out here. Professionals and students battle it out to bake award-winning treats full of creative magic. The cakes are judged by the best of the best, including master chefs in the industry. It's an event the public is excited to see. So we're gonna have five. Former EMCC culinary student Grace Eastless is part of the competition. Today I was I'm doing a, a cake with a lot of fondant roses that I have that I have learned also from a chef uh, there at Estrella. I came to help and support a fellow student and friend of mine. She entered the cake competition as a student. And a little bit of gum paste. The students rolled. I'm gonna roll it out. Pressed, cut, and painted. So we have our brush. Arranging flowers to make the perfect cake. Grace explains how to do it. You want to keep it uh, in an enclosed container, a plastic bag, so it doesn't dry out. And the others gain knowledge for future projects, an experience that defines teaching and learning by utilizing skills developed in the classroom at EMCC and applying them to the competition. Once again, all about hands-on. I mean, this is really what culinary is about. The students are thankful for their education. I love the teachers there. They do anything they can to make you succeed. So much hands-on, when you come out, you can take any entry-level position at a bakery, at a, at a hotel restaurant, you know, and work your way up to, up to a pastry chef or an executive pastry chef. Because we've got these great students that did super well in our classes and now we're able to show, for lack of a better term, show the world what they're uh, able to do. This event takes students out of the classroom into a real competitive environment. We're making a difference. People are hearing about us. Just that in itself is so rewarding. Anytime we can get um, our name as far as the Maricopa County Community College District or Australia Mountain be associated with some of these top tier culinary events really adds to our credibility of the level of student we're putting out. On the competition floor, Grace points out her cake. Grace takes home first place for the People's Choice Award. I'm Lisa Aquafreda, and that's Lisa's Features. And that's our show. I hope you've enjoyed it. Be sure to stay tuned to MCTV for our great lineup of shows, including Inside Maricopa Sports and 180 View. Also, check out our website at maricopa.edu slash mctv and click on DestTube. DestTube allows you to watch this show and all of our regularly produced programs anytime you wish. Until next time, take care. Don't touch that remote. MCTV has more great programming coming right up. Join MCTV every day for Inside Maricopa Sports in Foke and Tufaturo and our daily community calendar update in the district.